Hello everybody and welcome back to episode 53 of the podcast. Um, I'm back obviously with Jacob and Cameron. Jacob, number 53, who's that? Hmm, that's some nutcase in Motor 3, isn't it? Yes. And the name Dennis. of Dennis Onchu. And it's on Sue, yeah. Um, and Shu, you've got Peter Rabat, you've got Peter Shkavoda, you've got Dylan Walsh, Alex Poltier, <laughs> Danny Gonzalez. Someone's been on Instagram today. <laughs> yeah. Um, so we, as you can imagine, um, this isn't normally when we do a podcast, but we're doing an extra one this week because if you listen to our last one, it was two hours and we barely touched on the Americans GP. So we're going to bang out a quick 20 minute episode. Um, I'm going to start with the main focus of today, which is the fact that Mark Marquez is going to race at Cota or at least mm-hmm. go to Cota. Whether mm-hmm. he'll race or not, we don't know. I'm sure he will. Like, yeah, yeah, he'll win it in FP1 and then that'll be that. Oh, don't be a dick. Yeah. <laughs> no, I well, obviously don't want that. Um, I, well, I would love to see him race, but I mean... Do you want to know the story of why he's there? There's actually like a story that you know... Like, it's like, yeah, so it's like top scoot. Right, so he listened to our podcast, right? And heard me predict him for the win and was like, shit, right? I need to I need to go to fucking go to now. Make sure that I win the race for Declan's predictions. So. You are such a dick. I thought we were getting some kind of like hot take there. <laughs> I can see the shitty thing grin on his face. I knew he wasn't fucking serious. Yeah. No, I, 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 think, I think the thing is, he saw Bradle ride his, his bike for the entirety of 2020. You know, it's... Mm. And now you see Bradle on his bike again, and he must it must be like someone you know taking your misses out. Like, no, nah. he just needs he wants to win the title. And he's unfortunately, it goes back to my previous point from a few podcasts ago where he is desperate to come back and win this title, and he's desperate to keep that Kota record rolling. And mm. yeah, yeah, like, is he gonna go or ham? Like, he said he hasn't got in the press release I read earlier that. He hasn't got one objective, which means like, oh, you know, I'm not going to win the race. <laughs> but as we commonly know, it's quite often and common that the quotes you read in a press release aren't said by a rider. It's just a press officer who can't get hold of a rider who's just writing it to get it out pretty mm. quickly. Yeah. Um, Mark doesn't so, race rates, does he? Yeah, so I can imagine, like obviously I don't know this for certain, but I can imagine that's not what Mark has said and that was a press officer writing that for Honda. Um, obviously, awesome. he rode at Alcaraz this week on the CBR 600 mm-hmm. and banged in a 137.3 with yes. only half an hour on track, which is pretty quick given that Jack Miller, with three days testing on a V4, did a 136. So it's only 1.3 off 1,000 cc. The track is quite twisty and... All right, so it makes sense, but mm. they'd say he's still he's still pretty fast. <laughs> yeah, I just um as I found out the other day, I just wanted to point out um I know people are gonna be wondering why Marquez isn't on a new CBR six hundred, the one with the they, wings. They don't exist. Well they Europe. do exist, just not outside of Japan. And yeah. uh, apparently they've not met homologation for emissions tests the new CBR, so uh, it couldn't actually come outside of Japan because yeah. they're racing them in the Japanese Super, super Sport Championship. Uh, Tiger Hard is on one, as is Yugi Kuni. Yeah, quite but, nice looking, actually. Yeah, Kuni's one is beautiful. Yeah. But, uh, it can't actually come over to the, the European rounds or anything. Like, any European track wouldn't accept it, so Mark is on an older version. And they're not on the World Super Sport homologation list either. You can't ride them in World Super Sport either. That's right, yeah. Because really? they go um, to, um, what do you call it? Uh, it's the same reason, Euro 4. Yeah. Euro 5, isn't it? I don't know. Euro 5. Uh, yeah, what are they on now? I don't know what they're on now. Oh, I yeah, don't know. New, new, up, new upgrade on Euro comes 5 every now? year. Yeah. Euro 6 mm-hmm. coming soon, boys. Yep, and that's <laughs> going to be the death knell for a lot of engines, that Euro 6. So. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I'm quite excited for Mark. I... I don't know, you know, he's like, oh, I haven't got one objective. Of course he hasn't got one objective because pole position, fastest lap mm. and the race to win are three objectives. Yeah, yeah this, Good point. It, if he doesn't at least compete for pole, I will be very surprised because everybody's like, oh, why is he rushing back this time? Why is he rushing it? If you can see straight and it's not affecting your vision, 
You're going to come back. Fucking you? problem. <laughs> yeah, if it's yeah. cleared, like, if it's cleared by the doctors, then just go for it. He was yeah. cleared by the doctors at her rest, though. 20, <laughs> 2020, so you know, take that one with a pinch mm. of salt. Swings and roundabouts. Yeah, yeah, but like, like, oh, it's just the fucking social media experts coming out in it. I think. We gotta mm. like we can have our opinions, of course, um, but when people are going overboard with it, you just like you just leave it to the professionals, you know. There's a, but, there's a difference between being opinionated and just being a dick, I think. Yeah, and a lot of um, people when it comes to markets cross the dick threshold, unfortunately. Bit gay. <laughs> cross the dick threshold. <laughs> <laughs> the Ooh, would you like to cross my dick threshold? Oh my god! Fucking hell. <laughs> um, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's like any other rider doesn't get off the stick, Mark. It's, it's joking. Oh, yeah. Mark gets so much stick. Um, yeah. Right. Moving from Mark, because we are keeping this short. Um, looking at some riders' social medias um, and obviously the press release and stuff, Ralph Fernandez has said that he knows how to do a MotoGP race now. Oh, mm. that's good. Um, yeah, that is good. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, you know, he, I imagine KD ever happy to hear that. Yeah, he did oh. win a Cota last year. Mm-hmm. So are we going to see a, oh. maybe not, I'm not saying a race win, but maybe top 15 finally, some points? Special design again, like last year. Oh, I hope so, because that was... Special oh. tan gloves as well. Oh, yeah. That's the thing, like, it's weird. I saw a video on Instagram earlier, and it was of Remy Gardner, who's just, like, shooting guns or whatever. Um, and I was like, oh, yeah, forgot about you. <laughs> I yeah. you're on the Mochi P grid. <laughs> yeah, poor Remy. He's been very under the radar, but that's how he operates, isn't it? Yeah, he is, but like, it just sucks. Like, And he said something, um, he's getting fucking clowned on in his comments because he's like battling with Darren Binder and you're like, all right, mate, he's a world champion. Like, come on, bro. I don't think battling with Darren Binder as a rookie on a Yamaha, a bit of being a rookie on a KTM, yeah. is anything to be ashamed of at this point. No, exactly. Is but battling with Darren Binder is nothing to be ashamed of. Full stop. Really. Yeah, he's doing quite well. And if you can beat Darren Binder, I think he's doing well. There in his dive bomb tendencies. Yeah, it's, uh, it's not something I think. Uh, you know, it's, it's something to be ashamed of at all. No, it's exactly. Like, you know, it's not like he's a Sunday league rider at the end of the day. He's a fucking world champion, a reigning world champion. Mm. Yeah, hmm. it's um, it's just again, just social media clowns from the sofas, yeah. isn't it? Honestly, unfortunately, like, we both read a page you to a much bigger extent than me, but it's like you see some of the comments and you just think, "What the fuck are you on?" Like, yeah, like I had a um, I've got a guy who um, he kind of posts overnight on the <laughs> racing Facebook page, yeah. and um, he pinged me a message earlier and he was like, "Man." Like the mark hate is something else, really. Couldn't be many or obvious. I'm not going to finish the sentence. Um, but you know, the mark hate is um, mm. something else recently. It's like shit's pretty annoying, hard to bite your tongue, but you know, you kind of have to. Mm. And yeah, it is. It's like it's mental. Like going back to your uh, posts about, um, like, you know, what you said about the, um, those, like, mark getting hate. Like, mm. it's, it's rampant at the moment, but. Mm. I guess that comes with a territory, but boy, it is fucking crazy, man. Oh, it's ridiculous. It's, you know, because he had the audacity to win. What a prick, like. How dare he? Fuck it yeah. out. Cameron is, um, I don't even know what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, like, my, screen, my screen has gone, my screen's gone completely black. I'm assuming it's still recording, so carry on. I'm just, uh, I'm just going for it. We can hear you. You can still hear me, okay. Yeah. Unfortunately, on. we can still hear you. Oh, Hopefully it's still recording. Ah, got it. Yeah, um, I'm not doing another voiceover. Come on. I mean, it no. should still be recording. I just can't see it recording, and that sort of it's not recording. A bit worrying. So. Love my blind every time. Oh, he's got diplopia. Carry yeah. on, carry on. Do you know? What? I'm just going to talk as if it is still recording. Yeah. So okay. Um, Keep one, going. Um, <laughs> one thing I did want to bring up quick as well yeah. is um, how many special liveries done like. Special lids, special boots, special gloves. Are we going to see, do you reckon? As many as well, last year? Because last year, there were some really strange people doing it. Well, Mark is a lav one. The yeah, American Mark racing will team will have one. Sean oh, will have yeah. one. Cameron will have one. Joe Roberts will have one. Um, wonder if Raul will. Maybe, yeah. It's America, though. I think we will see quite a few. I think Alex Rins will probably have another one. Mia will probably have another one. Mm. I was going to say oh, Rossi Rins then. Rins is last year. I forgot about that with the fucking American football. Yeah. 
Yeah, I think we'll see. We'll probably see quite a lot, if I'm honest. Yeah. Um, I love it. Yeah, I, I, I can't wait. Social media engagement, let's go. Uh, I just like nightmares. Yeah. I just like fucking looking at them. Yeah. Um, but yeah, moving on to Moto 2 quickly as well. Um, I want to ask you, is Kang Vietti, he's obviously finished on the podium all three races this year. Can he continue that dominance to America? You know, he's he did okay at America last year. He definitely made a step last year at America. Mm. Um, that was kind of when his resurgence came. It was later into the season and Vietti did make a good step. Can he continue that this weekend? Or, you know, because... You know, he's up against Aaron Kanet and Agura, who haven't won a race yet. Mm. Both of them are both of them and obviously Chantra. We can't forget Chantra. We can't forget Dixon, Lowe's, and all these Marquee people. Bobier, Bobier, of course. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, like is Vietti gonna get another podium this weekend? Or I think he's yeah. got a target on his back now, at least. Like he has got one hell of a target. Yeah, I, I think he <laughs> will. Yeah, a target and it's firming on the air thinking fucking Avenue back. <laughs> No, I think so. Um, but, but you did say what I think is the main point is we went to Kota very late last season compared to now. Yeah. And he, by that point, figured out the Moto2 bike. Yeah, he did. So I don't know whether it was a Kota step or just a late season understanding the bike step. So I think we will see this weekend. I, I don't think podium's out of reach. I think we all put him on the podium, didn't we, for our predictions? Yeah, I'm pretty I sure we so. did, yeah. I think nice. I had him for the win. Possibly. Yeah. That sounds about right. Are, will we have a recap or are we going to bother with that? Yeah, I can't we remember. should um, do the recap, I think. Just I'll to, do a quick one at the end, yeah. yeah but, just um, quite literally, we've, just read it. Like, <laughs> all three of us have put him for the win and Ryan's put him at second, so... Yeah, Ooh. like, the thing is, he, he's the man in form. He's the man with confidence. Mm-hmm. And conf- we all know, racing's 99% in the middle of the head. Like, it's, the, yeah. it's the squishy grey thing in your skull that, that makes yeah. you go fast. Mm-hmm. That's it. Um, yeah, I think, and like you mentioned, Furman as well. Like, are you gonna? Is it was Argentina a fluke or is it? Is I wouldn't say a now? fluke, but I would say perhaps a less strong Buscar Screw track. Well, that's what I was he about did to race ask. there last year. But yeah, yeah it's and what do you think track, he had twenty first? I want to say twenty second. Yeah, because again, like you said, it's it's a hot. Although they've resurfaced it now, so the grip, yeah, will be a lot higher. <laughs> higher, exactly. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I, about I can't that see Firm in trouble in the top eight, right that way. But I can't see okay. either Bosco Oscar in trouble in the top eight, honestly. No, it's true. Right. It's it's such an inconsistent bike. The KLAX setup window is so much wider. That... That's the weird thing though. It's so inconsistent in the world championship, but it dominated in the Chev or the junior GP motor too. But yeah, like, but it was wasn't that... It was in the bike. It was the rider over there. Yeah, but like for both riders to dominate, you know, and then you had Jerry Montea the year before that. Well, I've, yeah, like all three who won on it for me were world championship level riders. That's the thing. Like, yeah, you wouldn't see Xavi Cardalus win on it. No, but then you're racing against like Kalex is like Tulovic, who is a good rider. Um, you know, mm-hmm. and obviously Cardalus, Noradin, who did struggle in the World Champ. I guess it does just come down to rider ability. If you were good um, enough to be in the Moto Two World Championship, you wouldn't be in Chev, or you, th- you unless you're passing through. David Savadol. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Speaking um, of, <laughs> speaking of, we'll, we'll mention yeah. him in a minute. Um, yeah, but I want to go back to that Chev thing quick because um, obviously Lopez is now on a Kalex this year after the mm. um, Giatti team pulled out. Um, yeah. So now we'll see. Is it him? Is it the bike? Is he going to win all ten or twelve races this year, or is it a is short it going to be a mechanical? Mixed? Yes, he has to. Like, yeah, he can't do anything less if he wants a world championship ride. Now his main rival Furman's gone. Nobody's come into the championship on a Moto Two bike who can challenge him. Garzo, but he's on an MV anyway. So. Yeah, I was going to say Garzo, maybe, but maybe not. And then like. All the good Chev riders are on, you know, the 600 championship almost. He's going to go and challenge. Shout out to Mahel Florov. <laughs> yeah. Like, he's going to go and challenge. Like, if, if anyone gets close to him over the course of a season, they'll have done very, very, very well. Considering Chiadi yeah. are no longer running bikes. Poor S. Creek. Yeah. Got it for him. Got it yeah. for him. At least he's got Moto E still, but that's still yeah, sad. I'm sure we'll see a screen pop up in Chev somewhere, to be honest. 
Yeah, I'm sure. Um, yeah, yeah going to Meta interest, 3. Yeah. Going to Meta 3 now, obviously. We mentioned David Salvador. Mm. David Salvador is substituting for the injured John McPhee. Um, mm. Right, question. Is he going to beat Carrasco? <laughs> <laughs> I think yes. Yeah, I think so. I think... Yeah. I don't think a top 10 is out of question. I think a top 5. I'm going to be mental and say top 5. I wouldn't go that far just because of his lack of bike time on the, in the minute. Yeah, but when he hopped on the Honda at her F and was second or third... Or yeah. But he had like also that. done a full chair season on the TM, which is basically a Honda. Good now boy, he's yeah. going to be on a Husky. It's... I can't see him hopping on it and just doing bits straight away, but I can see him impressing. But that's thing, he's going to be back. His, so it's his best season in the Chev, or one of, was when he was on the Cuna del Camionas bike, mm-hmm. the KTM. So he knows the KTM well. He knows the rookie bike. Mm-hmm. I'm not, but, I'm not yeah, saying I'd, it's a bad thing necessarily, but... Yeah, so I mean top it, 10, yeah, that's fair, but I'm saying top 5. Risky, but it wouldn't be overall shocked for it that way. Got to risk it for a biscuit. I'm seeing. Yeah, he's a, he, he proved he could do bits on on a TM, like yeah. you know, all the other TMs. What was it? Nicola. What was his face? I can't even remember his name now. Oh yeah, Nicolo. Fuck. <laughs> he's like Charini. Charini. That doesn't sound right. Fuck it, Al. It left me. I didn't write it down or anything. It fucking left me. Hold on. I can't help you. I have no idea. I know idea. his little name's Fabio. I remember that. I don't know why. For that. Hold on, I'm going to get it. I have no it fucking will... idea. I've got the entry list here. Because they, um, they had three riders oh, in the ATM. Nicola Fabio Carraro. Carraro. <laughs> but he was on a, I think it was a 19 spec TM. Yeah, so now he's riding Carraro. He's now riding a Cross and Road Racing Team KTM. This okay. year in the Junior TV. What the fuck's that? Doing <laughs> some weird ass things. Yeah, that's I'm, glad, so I'm glad Salvador's off the TM, though. If they've been yeah. threatening to do World Championship for years and never happened, so at this point, you got to think it's like, it's like, you know, just shit will get off the pot, isn't it? Yeah, that's it. That's it. Um, a lot of interesting. I'm just quickly looking back at the um, G- Moto 2 Junior GP list. You know, there's quite a few, like the Spirit Honda Moto 2 bikes are there, and then you've got the Brevo H43 Triumph, whatever the hell that is. Some weird shit in that championship, man. Um, mm. but well, I yeah, get the Spirit um, Moto 2 because it's the Vision Track. Yeah, British, which is but... great. It's British, two British Moto 2 riders. But you've got a rider riding a Moto 2 and then back it up with the British Talent Cup. You know, yeah. what? Weird. Anyway, and this supposed to be your Coda? Yep. Um, <laughs> so, obviously, Fodge has now lost the title lead. By how much? Uh, I think like five points. Ah. It's minimal, minimal. Like, yeah. It's literally the difference between first and second, I think. Yeah, but it's against Garcia, um, who is obviously one of the most... Them two are like... Runaway title winners, I think. Um, mm. I, I disagree. I think Kavar is going to be in that mix. He will, but he's not as strong as the other two. Um, Again, I disagree, but carry on. So that Leopard is very good on the straights. <laughs> and there are two hefty straights. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Breaking news. <laughs> yeah. I Leopard think, fast on straights. <laughs> I think Fodger is a standout like potential winner. I think Fodger is... Like the favourite for the win, but although Guevara obviously is out for blood this weekend after a DNF again due to a mechanical P1, yeah, won he's the gonna last want year. It. Mm-hmm. Nobody's he's extra want motivated. It yeah, so um, I'm quite excited for Moto 3 because we can't really call it, there's not really much point One talking about it. Question but... which I didn't actually look up and I just thought of then. Have we got any wild cards? No. No. We haven't. Didn't think so, cards, but... yeah. I expect some at like Hareth, maybe, but mm. I didn't think so. But I went to the check. It's like yeah, I normally I'm... check, but obviously I don't think do. anyone plays in Barry Baltus. I don't think they yeah, are. Are they? He's, he's returning. He's already said. Oh Barry yeah, is back. He is, isn't oh, okay. he? Yeah, nice. That's cool. Yeah, we should have mentioned that, actually Barry's back. Yeah, yeah, Barry's back. We love Barry. Um, Barry's some more good saves. Back. Yeah, <laughs> but like. 
I think, yeah, I can expect, obviously, Cameron and Sean Dylan Kelly in Moto 2 to do quite well, especially Sean. Um, yeah, I think this could be the the stiff. touch paper lightning. Yeah, and then Cameron, podium. Podium pace. Should have fucking said it. Predictions. Should have yeah. said it. We did I? I did. I think I you did. did. After yeah. I fucking, oh, you did. After I, I didn't. blurted it out before you did your prediction. No, I, I was like, shit. I swear, I swear I was thinking Bobby before you even mentioned it. Oh, it was fifth last year, wasn't he? Was it fifth? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah, yeah. yeah, that's why. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, it's uh, clearly mm-hmm. knows his way around Coda. So does Sean. But then it's been resurfaced. It's you know, new season. He knows the secrets, though, doesn't he? Like, because it's a, it's a. Let's be legit. It's a bitch of a track. What if those secrets are lost, though? Car track. Lost in yeah, the, the resurfacing. <laughs> Yeah, right. Shall I run through the um, predictions before I end this one? Yeah, I, mm. oh, before you do that, I just want to give a quick shout out to Rory Skinner, top in the BSB yeah, test. P1 today. Yeah. And like, what was it? The top 23 with the win in one second? Something like that. I know, get well soon to Taz Mack. I was like, what mm. the hell? Yeah, and Taz Mack with a broken ankle. Yeah. But yeah, so um, not good. Yeah. Unfortunately. Massive, massive crash. Still can't work out how he did it. No, I, we've seen the photos. Um, yeah, I've seen the footage, and I, I'm, st- I'm it just raises further questions. <laughs> yeah, because there's, yeah, I don't know. It has, to be, well soon. it has to be. Got in for him so close to his World Superbike debut as well. Um, mm, two weeks away. Now. Fucking pain in the ass, man. And but, while we're on quick BSB, those rich energy Yamahas. Oh my god. Ah, eh, mid. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. Mid. Not that the gold wheels, especially, is just yeah. But you got no taste, so um, right. Coming from on. a guy who likes Jim Dolphin hoodies, and you're saying I got no taste. Jim Shark, actually, little bitch. Jim Dolphin. Um, <laughs> Jim so, Going on to the predictions um, quickly. So obviously, we've added pole positions in there now as well. So for motor three, I've gone with Guevara, Jacob Tatai, Cameron Guevara. Then uh, for me on the podium, I've gone for Garcia third, Guevara second, and Foggia to win. Jacob's gone Guevara third, Foggia second, Garcia to win. Cameron's gone Suzuki third, Foggia second, Guevara to win. Mm. Ryan has gone for Garcia third, Foggia second, Guevara to win. Mm, I did tell him to text you his pole positions. Not done but, it yet. Yeah. Nope. Bastard. Um, so, motor two, I've gone for Vietti pole. Jacob's gone for a Bellino pole, and Cameron's gone Dixon pole. Then, my podium, I've gone for Aldega third, Chantra second, Vietti win. Jacob's gone Kenneth third, Agora second, Vietti win. Cameron's mm. gone Bobia third, Dixon second, Vietti win. And Ryan's gone Lowe's third, Vietti second, Kenneth win. Uh, I, I'm also regretting a little bit of bringing Lowe's in my podium because he's always strong here. Yeah, he took his first win here, didn't he, back in 2014 so far? And then yeeted himself off the speed up in 2016. But oh, still did yeah, that. that was a gnarly crash. Spicy. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, um, right. Moving to MotoGP, uh, I went Martin Pohl, Jacob went Bangaya Pohl, Cameron went Quattararo Pohl. Bullish. My podium, I went Miller the third, Rin second, Marcus first. I said Marcus, yeah. Jacob mm. went Brabinda third, Martin second, Rins to win. Cameron went Alicia Spargo third, Martin second, and Paula Spargo to win. And Ryan's went Ryan went Rins third, Martin second, and Mir first. Do you know what, honestly, I think Ryan might have nailed that. <laughs> nah, it's so hard to tell though. You know, like we're saying, Mia. Well, he is looking good. He's my favorite. He's one of my favorites for the title though. Yeah, consistency. But Alicia got that. Alicia, Alicia has your consistency right now. Yep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's worrying. I, but you know, like we were saying last on the well, last week on the last pod, it's nine different people on the podiums in three races. Mm. Uh, it's it's Moto Three style. It's, it's, yeah, it's wild. Um, so I mean, bitch. predictions. You might as well go nuts and just say like Darren Bender, and. Fernandez and Gardner, why not? Could happen. Yeah, why not? There's <laughs> Darren Binder in Remy Gardner's garage with a steel chair. <laughs> <laughs> nice one. Well, um, I think that was a good time to end there. I hope you've enjoyed listening and we'll be back on early next week with episode 54 
after the American GP. Thank you very much. Yep, and don't get used to these midweek pods. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>